That's me from Team Tech here, back again with another video for you guys. I got a camera comparison between the Note 10 Plus, Galaxy S20 Plus, and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now, if you like what I have on the channel, I need you to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon so you get notifications when I put up my next video. Now, we all know a camera doesn't make up a smartphone. It's all about the experience, the display, the app experience, and everything else. Now, if you want me to go more in depth with the iPhone 11 Pro Max or Galaxy S20 Plus, leave a comment below and let me know. Either way, I'm going to put out a Galaxy S20 Plus review and iPhone 11 Pro Max review pretty soon once I'm done fiddling around with the phones and figuring out the tips and tricks that I can provide to you guys in the review. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. This is the iPhone 11 Pro Max, 4K 60 frames per second, comparing it to Note 10 Plus and S20 Plus 5G. I am noticing a lot more detail on the iPhone camera. Way more detail than I'd like, because you can see all my blemishes, because all that skin smoothing from the Android phone is not there. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is a camera comparison, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, right here, Galaxy S20 Plus and iPhone 11 Pro Max. This is 4K 60 on the front facing camera, Note 10 Plus. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Today we're going to be comparing the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, Galaxy S20 Plus, and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. This is 4K 60 video on the front facing camera, and the Galaxy S20 Plus. Let me know what you think. 4K 60 on the rear camera of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I'm going to do a steady walk to test the stabilization. Let me know in the comments if it's shaky or not. See that cover accuracy is phenomenal on the iPhone. Everything is color accurate on the iPhone and HDR is looking phenomenal. That extended HDR really goes a long way. Let's look at that detail, man. Autofocus is amazing. Way better than the S20 Ultra. Better than the S20 Plus because of the sensor size difference. Still get some decent bokeh too. 10 Plus, 4K 60. I don't think there's stabilization on the Note 10 Plus with this, but you know what you think in the comments below. See what the color difference is. Colors are a bit, yeah, they're pretty accurate. Not as accurate as the iPhone, a little more punchy, but that's the same, same thing. 60, S20 Plus. HDR is looking hella good. Sky is nice and blue. A little more blue than real life, but you know. The house is color accurate. The greens are going to be a lot more punchier and the blues are going to be a lot more punchier. That's just what Samsung does. 4K60. Alright, Note 10 Plus on the left, iPhone 11 Pro Max in the middle, Galaxy S20 Plus on the right. So with the iPhone 11 Pro Max, we have natural colors in the grass. Um, the sky looks good with the HDR. On the Samsung phones, you can tell the greens are a lot punchier. Note 10 Plus is more washed out. S20 Plus is a lot more contrast going for it. Looks good though. All right, now we have the normal wide angle shot. You'll notice with the S20 Plus it has a natural depth of field due to a larger sensor. A lot of contrast, the greens are a lot punchier on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. It's more what they would say washed out, muted colors, but it is natural. Everything is what it looks like. I will say the grass does look more realistic on the Samsung phones with the iPhone 11 Pro Max making a little more washed out green. Um, here we have the zoom capabilities, two times for the 11 Pro Max Note 10 Plus, three times for the S20 Plus. I like the iPhone 11 Pro Max more because it doesn't have that crunchy zoomed in look. The S20 Plus has a hybrid optical zoom, but it's way too sharp for my liking. And the Note 10 Plus as well has got a lot of sharpness going for it. But that's what Samsung is known for. They're known for over sharpening their photos. Next, we have this flower here. And I get I, the Note 10 Plus, I didn't take it the same angle as the others but you will notice that the yellows and greens look more natural on the iphone 11 pro max it's gonna be a common theme here with the iphone having natural colors there will be some times when the hdr kind of almost washes out the colors but in this case i prefer the iphone's photo 
Although the Samsung S20 Plus has a really nice look if it was in focus. All right, now we have a close-up macro shot of the flower. Again, not the same angle as the Note 10 Plus. Note 10 Plus, a little overexposure going, some clipping on the flower. The Note 20 Plus is a little darker, kind of out of focus because of the sensor size. And the iPhone 11 Pro Max has the most natural color and a lot more detail too in the flower if you were to punch in on the photo. Greens look natural, HDR in the background looks great, and there's still some good depth of field. Next, I took a picture of this particular umbrella because of the color of it. Um, the S20 Plus and iPhone 11 Pro Max look more natural. They're almost the same photo if you really look at it. Um, Note 10 Plus as well. It's a little more overexposed, but I like the exposure between S20 Plus, iPhone 11 Pro Max. 11 Pro Max leaning more on the warmer side, but they look almost indifferent from each other. Next, we have the wide angle shot of the umbrella, iPhone 11 Pro Max looking a lot more natural with the faded look that the umbrella actually has. The Samsung S20 Plus gives it a more saturated reddish look. Note 10 Plus gives it also a saturated look, but not as saturated as the S20 Plus. HDR of the sky looks fantastic on all three photos. A little more detail in the clouds and the iPhone 11 Pro Max, but everything else looks pretty good. Let's go to the next photo. Next, we have portrait mode iPhone 11 Pro Max gives me a really golden look because of the HDR that's kicking in. The house also is more, uh, I don't know how to say it, it got an orange tint to it. The S20 Plus actually has the more color accurate photo of my skin tone and the house in the background. Note 10 Plus is a lot more faded. Depth of field, you can't really tell how good it is because of the house being in the background, but either way, it looks good on iPhone 11 Pro Max and S20 Plus. I didn't have, I forgot to take a selfie for this video with the iPhone 11 Pro Max and all the other stuff. So um, iPhone 11 Pro Max, obviously the butter photo, skin tone looks fantastic, details fantastic. The other two phones have a faded washed out look. The cutout isn't as good with the hair. Granted the iPhone 11 Pro Max would have done the same with my hair with my curls being faded, but obviously hands down iPhone 11 Pro Max in this photo. This one, I took it because of the reds and greens. Um, the iPhone 11 Pro Max has the more accurate colors again with the house color and the plant color. S20 Plus has got a really saturated, con contrasty look. Note 10 Plus looks good as well, a little more faded or washed out, but otherwise it looks pretty natural as well. I just prefer the iPhone 11 Pro Max's colors, but if you want an Instagram photo, S20 Plus is your go-to. Next up, we have the flash photography. The iPhone 11 Pro Max has got a good balance with the whites that come from the flash. Got to give you a nice white background with the wall being white and all that stuff. The white point just looks great. S20 Plus gives a little more greenish tint to it. Note 10 Plus has a little blue tint to it. If you're gonna go with the pure white flash, the iPhone 11 Pro Max did a pretty good job here. And moving on to the next photo is night mode. All right, so the iPhone 11 Pro Max here was taken with 10 seconds handheld outside, hence the motion blur. I guaranteed if I had this on a tripod, all three photos would look a lot better, especially with Samsung having a Pro Mode, so you can add it to 30 seconds now with the update. So S20 Plus looks pretty great, contrasty, lots of detail and sharpness. Note 10 Plus is okay, but otherwise I prefer the iPhone 11 Pro Max for sure.